Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Java Edition for the latest snapshot. This is the Minecraft version 20W11A. In case you guys don't know what the snapshot means, we are currently in the year 2020. The W stands for the week. We're in the 11th week of 2020 and this is the first snapshot of its kind. Now we have a lot of changes in today's video to the already core game of Minecraft, but we have the introduction of new ores, new enchantments, and so much more. Now guys, if you could be kind enough to hit that like button or even share today's video, I really appreciate it. It's taken me quite some time to put this video together, plus, I'm here every week when you guys need to learn about these new features. I do want to mention that we have no indication of the nether update betas or previews for the bedrock version. Of course, I'll keep you updated as soon as that happens. Now, I highly recommend reading this week's change log because there's going to be some changes to redstone. I don't fully know what they're planning to do. Are they about to make the Java redstone system like bedrock? Or are they about to make the bedrock redstone system like Java? I will go over the small part of the article, but posted on Minecraft.net is this. Before we dive into this snapshot, a word about redstone. Redstone is one of the coolest things in Minecraft, and many of you are members of communities that focus on building mind-blowing redstone contraptions, farms, computing machines, and even 256 by 256 piston doors. A lot of redstone behavior is currently categorized as undefined. This is when the behavior of the block is not the result of initial code, but is a side effect of unaccounted edge cases of quirks in the, in the game code. We know that many of players, many players consider undefined behavior as a very interesting aspect of redstone and enjoy experimenting with and using undefined behaviors to build unique contraptions to share with the rest of the community. However, the quirks of undefined behavior can be quite surprising even when building simple contraptions. This quirkiness can be a negative experience for players new to redstone and may turn them away from this very unique and exciting aspect of Minecraft, as well as the vast redstone community behind it. Our goal is to bring all redstone components up to a level of quality that we are happy with, and we will be making adjustments where it makes the most sense for redstone going forward. Any changes we make will be communicated in the snapshot change log, and as always, we will be reading your feedback and comments. If you have any immediate feedback regarding Redstone, then please make a post on the feedback website. The developers are looking for feedback in regards to Redstone. I am not sure what they are about to change, but they are about to make some big changes to Redstone. Now, if that article makes a little bit more sense to you guys, let me know in the comment section. After reading it, it looks like they're going to revisit Redstone because they think that it's a little bit too confusing. For me as a Minecraft player, I have no clue about redstone. I'll be totally honest with you. Um, but yeah, are they about to tweak redstone a little bit more? Guys, remember, this is a snapshot. Everything you see in today's video is subject to change, tweaks, or even in some cases, removal. Remember the illusion there? It started in a beta and a snapshot. All right, guys, let's go to game. So in this week's snapshot, everything you see behind me has kind of been tweaked. A lot of these are already features in Minecraft, but they've just made life a lot easier for Minecraft players. So the first change I want to go through is hoes are now the appropriate tool for these blocks. So the hay bale, the target block, dried kelp, shroom light, nether warp block, and warped warp block the hoe is now classed as the tool of choice to harvest these, farm these. Don't forget, last week they introduced a mining speed, which is absolutely brilliant for this and this inside the nether. And again, they also introduced it for the stream light. Now, if we just break these and place them down, I'm not entirely sure if that's a new sound, but there is a couple of new sounds in today's video. So we'll go through these because, of course, the mining speeds have changed. We did go over these in last week's snapshot, but if we start with this, of course, the speed of this is gonna be a lot slower. If we go with this one, it's gonna be a little bit faster. These all mine at the same speed, so even if I use this, it's not gonna make it faster. We then move to the iron one. 
We then move to the diamond one. And of course, if you have enchantments on this, it makes it a lot easier. You can now put a whole different variation of enchantments on this. Also the gold one. And last but not least, the new god tier in Minecraft, which is netherite. It makes things a lot easier. So yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to go through. So I can already see a bunch of farms being created with this, but kelp can now be bone mealed. This is something that was not possible previously. Now, I wanna show you something with this because when you bone meal it, it doesn't just go up by one, it goes up by quite a lot. So if you do this, it goes up by uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Six it goes up by. Now it's not always the same, so as you guys can see, it's it all depends on levels. It can it can go like quite tall and it'll go quite small. I think it's whatever one between one and six or as high as it can possibly go. So I really do like that change. The next one we have here is these and more can now be placed on soul sand blocks, but also the highest tier of snow. So what I show you today, there's a lot more than this. Um, blocks that you couldn't possibly previously place on a full block of snow or even soul sand can now be done. Things like doors, rails, buttons, slabs, pressure plates, not slabs, redstone dust, uh, and it's the same for these as well. There's quite a few more blocks. So don't forget guys, the um, soul sand itself is not classed as a full Minecraft block. However, it fits perfectly on this one. Wasn't it quite awkward to get through doors last time if you try to use this? Or you could go through one way but not the other. You can kind of see that the rail is still slightly floating. You can see that by the hot box, the, 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 the hit box there. But yeah, that's something else that's also been introduced in this one. It's the same for these ones as well. It has to be a full tier. You can't just have it like this one. It's not going to work. It has to be the highest one, which in total is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So eight is classed as a full one. Something else introduced is soul sand no longer slows down minecarts. So for anyone who's ever wanted to use like a minecart system inside the nether, but you may have been slowed down by soul sand. That is simply not the case anymore. I like this change as well. Great introduction to the game. Before we go through the new features, the last other change is that burning projectiles now set off these items or blocks. So for example, this has flame on it. Now, any projectile will now ding the bell. This is, should also be the same for your snowballs. I, I'm surprised this wasn't a previous thing. Is this something that's on Bedrock but not on Java? Something else will happen if you have a flame bow or any other flame kind of projectile, if it's lit, or fired at a campfire, it will then light the campfire automatically. And last but not least, the same for TNT. Again, I'm surprised that these things weren't already a thing, but in the official change log, this, what the, this is what it tells us. All right, let's go to the nether because we do have quite a few changes today. I wanted to start off with something I've never seen before. There is a bat inside of my portal just chilling on the obsidian. Uh, we do not have any introduction of crying obsidian yet in terms of functionality crying obsidian was introduced into the last snapshot going from old um code from this this was going to be used as a method on how to set spawn inside the nether it looks like this is something that's going to be introduced later on so getting into the features what we have today is new enchantment only gained via bartering we'll get into that in just a second because i've been messing around with that but we have soul speed one Soul Speed 2 and Soul Speed 3. These are exactly what they say on the tin. They are making you faster when on Soul Sand. Now, before we show you how this works, something that you need to know about this is if you have the Soul Speed enchantment on, it will degrade your boots over time. F's in chat right there. However, if you have this amending, you shouldn't have to worry too much because you are able to combine the soul speed with other enchantments such as unbreaking, mending, feather falling, you name it, it can still be combined with other things. It's not the case of if you have soul speed on, you can't enchant it with something else. So it's obtained via bartering and I've been messing around with this guy just a little bit. I feel like he's a tough cookie because every time, every time I try and tra do, do like anything with him in terms of trades, this is everything I've gained, not the books. 
Haven't gained the books from this guy, but he he these are the things he's traded to me so far. I'll leave him to do it. If he doesn't do it, uh, maybe it's broken, but that is what it says in the official change log. So again, we have three different speeds. We have one, two, and three. I just want to show you guys how this works. So we'll put on boots, number one to start off with. Uh, by the way, I'll show you by default first. You guys know that obviously going on soul sand, you're incredibly slow. This is one. You're able to move a lot faster. Now they do come with a small quirkiness as well. So if we move around, it come, they come with ghost particles. And also I noticed these kind of have like a new sound. It's like you're letting the soul out. That's something new as well. Although I've got number one on, right? No, they're three. That's my 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 bad. Okay, so I put three on first. Let's get rid of them. We'll go in the correct order. Let's try. So this is without. Let's go back. Let's try one. Okay, so you're a little bit more maneuverable. Still produces the ghosts. Let's put on number two. We have number two on. This is a lot faster. They're starting to degrade as well. You can see they're starting to de decay a little bit, but they also produce the ghost particles. And last but not least, we have three. So this one, you move swimmingly. It's probably the best way to explain it. You can move perfectly on, on this. And then you take them off and you're like a slug again. <laughs> so yeah, but it looks like the decaying of these happens quite fast. I'm in creative, so it's not technically meant to happen. That, to me, sounds like a bug. All right, getting into a couple of other changes and introductions. Oh, okay, this guy's uh, quite busy, isn't he, huh? He's still not really producing any of the enchanted books. All right, so we have the introduction of Nether Gold Ore. It is, if we type in gold, it is a brand new gold ore. It's called Nether Gold Ore. So ordinary, this one. This one and this one. I reckon the nether looks so much better. It seems more embedded. I like the introduction of this. No word of a lie. We are currently at the coordinate level 42. They spawn there on their own. However, I will show you in terms of generation down below because it does generate down below as well. Uh, but this works the exact same way as ordinary gold. I was hoping that you could mine it and then maybe you got nuggies or maybe you could instantly get an ingot. That's not the case. It is basically and practically the same. Can be smelted inside of a furnace. Obviously this is a lot slower, but this can also be smelted inside of a blast furnace. Um, so it's just another way to get gold, I guess, for your bartering. So yeah, it can be smelted in both. Now we'll go to forward slash game mode spectator because we should have some nearby. So yeah, we do have a couple nearby. In terms of generations, guys, if we hit F1 here, uh, Y level 28 and below is where I was typically finding it. You can see it right there. Uh, where else did we find it? Where else are you? Higher maybe? Let's have a quick look at this. There's a little bit more over there. So what level is that? That's around 34. I typically found it around about 28 and below. Now this is below lava. So yeah, being below lava seems to be a little bit more common. In, in the next update, but yeah, that's the new ore introduced to the game. Something else to remember is that the new weeping vines, these can be found in the crimson biome. Uh, they can also be bone mealed now in terms of their growth. So if we grab ourselves, a, I think I've got some inside of here, we do. If we bone meal you, they can be bone mealed as well. Now these work the same way as vines in terms of their use, uh, but they attach to the ceilings. We have the introduction of a new type of vine. This is called the twisted vines. Haven't found these naturally generated yet. They could have a place, I'll be totally honest with you. I've not been looking for that. Uh, these grow up. These grow off, they do not grow down. This is why they're slightly weird. So yeah, these can also be, be bone mealed as well. And by the looks of the bone meal, one bone meal seems to go quite high. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And they work the same way as vines and the twist, the other vines, that's... That's how they work. And that's pretty much everything in this week's snapshot, but a lot of good changes. There's a lot of fantastic features introduced in this update. Did we just finally get one of the books? Hey, we got Soul Speed 3 there. In terms of getting it though, guys, I went through two stacks of gold to obtain everything you see here. So 
It's going to be a very, very tricky one. The fact that it decays kind of sucks. But that's everything we have in this week's snapshot. If you did learn something new, please be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.